Welcome to a sweltering 91 degree Friday Reads video. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Uh, first day of fall. Um, well, in a couple hours officially, apparently. So, welcome back, guys. Uh, got a Friday Reads video here for you. Um, last Friday Reads, I think I was still trying to decide what audiobook I was going to listen to, and I ended up posting it on Twitter that I was starting The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I have decided to discontinue that one, um, besides the fact that I've run out of time at my library loan, I didn't get to listen to it as much during the week as I had hoped, and I'm just really not getting into it. I'm getting tired of all the, you know, drinking and drugs and gambling that are going on in the beginning of the story, and it's just really dragging a bit. I don't know that I'll ever return to it, but I won't rule it out, but for now I'm going to DNF it. Instead, I've chosen uh, this particular one, kind of a cozy mystery. It's called Evans Above by Reese Bowen, and this is the first in the Constable Evans series, um, and it's basically um, a story where two men are found dead in a small village of Snowden. Um, the constable suspects foul play, but his superiors suspect it's just a mountaineering accident, so he's going to set out and investigate anyway. It's described as sort of humorous, and uh, it gives you a detailed life of life in a small village in, in Wales. Uh, Show sure, lots of quirky characters, uh, from what I gathered, uh, lots of women trying to um, match him up uh, <laughs> romantically and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I've, I've never come across that particular series, uh, but I've seen it popping up on, um, on Audible and also at the library, so I'm going to give that one a try. I'm continuing reading The Decameron by Giovanni Di Boccaccio. It's part of the read-along, along with Adam over at Memento More. Um, that's where I'm at right now, page... 531, they're working behind me there in the quarry, 531 out of some 900 or so pages. Um, I've broken it up to kind of keep track uh, or keep up to date with the, to finish by the end of the month, and I've got about 30 pages to catch up on with today, um, so I'll get right on that one, but it's hit or miss on some of the stories, it's kind of intriguing, um, but yeah, I, this is like one of the first books I have literally written in all over, I mean, like notes all over the place. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and then I'm also participating in ShakeTube 2017, where over the course of 15 weeks we're reading various Shakespeare plays. And starting today, uh, we'll be getting uh, The Merchant of Venice. Um, I'm very familiar with this play, or really enjoy this particular one, so looking forward to uh, actually sitting on and reading it. I've seen it performed, but never actually read it. So uh, yeah, this one should be really, really good. And it's been a while since I picked up a manga, because I've been so involved in all these other read-alongs uh, that I decided I needed a bit of a break. So maybe this weekend uh, I will just go ahead and just polish one of them off. And this is the fourth omnibus in uh, I Am a Hero. And this one is by uh, Kengo Hanazawa. And it is about Hideo Suzuki. He's sort of a um, mentally unhinged manga artist. And as the story breaks out... Uh, a zombie apocalypse occurs in Tokyo, and he is uh, trying to make his way out of the city. Um, even though he seems to be a bit mentally unhinged, he's pretty much schizophrenic. He seems to be one of the very few people <laughs> in Japan that has a firearm. Why this mentally unhinged man has a firearm, I don't know, but he's determined to sort of like be the hero. But he's very meticulous about the rules and regulations of owning a firearm and who can handle it and how it should be carried about, uh, even amidst every bit of chaos going on around him. Sometimes he seems a little unconnected to the events around him. It's it's really an interesting story, but um, uh, the artwork in it is really good, very detailed, almost realistic in some settings. Um, and it groups him in others. <laughs> but it's a really intriguing story, and there's two volumes in these particular omnibus. Uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to picking that up. Like I said, it's been a while since I've read a manga. Um, at least a couple weeks, I want to say, or through the through um, the end of August into September. It's been yeah, quite a, quite a little bit of time. So about time I pick up another one. So that's my Friday reads video. I'm gonna go in and cool off. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.